Hey people, I wanted to take a second to go through the process of creating this scenario exercise for uh, Jester Pro's Xactimate class. And, uh, this is an exercise we call the Bob Victim Exercise. And what we're looking at right now uh, is a download, a picture of the download you've received of the exercise book for the class. And I'm going to scroll through it. We're going to head down through the room exercises and the cover page exercises. And eventually you're going to get down to uh, Right here it says practice set three victim comma Bob scenario exercise okay and this is where I want to start with that uh, just the explanation of your uh, of your exercise here okay so what's going to happen is we're going to go through the first day of the class and then you're going to begin on this exercise with the skills you've learned uh, first thing I want to talk about is setting the uh, the actual project up and what you've got here is a uh, this is a mock assignment a mock claims assignment okay and I just want to go over some of the information you'll need uh, you'll see up at the top you've got the claim number that's called the dwelling claim number all right you've got the policy number right here and the date of loss You'll also see, uh, you won't need the agent information, but you're going to need the insurance information. And here's the insurance phone numbers. Scroll down a bit. Here is the coverage amount. Okay. And the deductible. Now, the deductible, you'll see here, uh, this is a hurricane loss. You're going to be doing a percentage deductible. And it's a percentage of the coverage A building limit of liability. So it's 2% of $148,200. So you'll, you'll need to know that information. Okay. So what you're going to do first is you're going to, uh, you're going to take that and you are going to look at this cheat sheet uh, that I have created for you. And here it is, the Bob Victim Scenario Exercise Cheat Sheet. So uh, for uh, company header you're going to use this company header right here any old claims company okay so you'll need to create that company header and use it in this claim and it's going to have an opening statement and I will get you this cheat sheet if you don't already have it so you'll be able to copy this opening statement into your opening statement field you'll be creating a new claims rep or estimator uh, that's Jane adjuster and there's Jane's business phone and extension and here's a few other settings. You'll use uh, Mr. Victim's day phone. We saw that just a moment ago uh, on that assignment sheet. And that would be at, uh, let's see, right here, I think. Yeah. The day phone listed right here. 830-572-9987. Okay. Uh, You'll need to calculate the deductible amount, so do that 2% calculation, and use the date of loss listed in the exercise. Okay, so that is uh, date of loss there is uh, oops, a little too fast, 10:24 of 05. Okay, and all other dates you're going to use uh, 1, 2 of 2011. So you'll need to how, know to, uh, how to choose the date of loss there. So once again, you're going to be creating a new project in Xactimate. Okay? But before you create a new project, you're going to be going through the process of uh, going to the contact manager, creating a new claims rep, document modules for the company header, the opening statement, uh, user preferences, you're setting the administrative defaults, uh, opening and closing statements, uh, right here so you can set the uh, opening statement you're going to go to the dashboard you're going to properly name the project which in this case and for the purposes of this class will be uh, victim underscore Bob okay so let's do that real quick underscore Bob it's the insured's last name and followed by the first name I'm going to add the new project Okay, this is after all these settings have been set. I haven't set these uh, yet because I'm leaving that for the exercises. So a new project is started. The insured's name and address, and the correct phone number. Only one of those phone numbers right, is going in here. 
per the cheat sheet. Dates of loss go here, and you're moving over to the coverage loss, uh, claim number, policy number, type of loss, and you can just use hurricane here. Coverage amounts go in here, uh, deductible goes in here, and that's the first part of this exercise. Now, let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the exercise here. So here's that here's the cover page or the the instruction page, as it were, for the exercise. Now, here is the first page of mock scope notes. These are made as if an adjuster had gone out in the field and taken measurements and notes. And uh, remember, um, for the first day, we've only learned how to set up a project and how to create interior rooms. So for right now, do not try to move on to the section dealing with uh, roofs or exterior elevations. Don't go there yet. Okay? Just set those aside and we'll deal with those beginning on day two. For right now, you are going to be dealing with your interior rooms. There's your living room, and there is your kitchen. Okay, so you're going to be setting up the insurance information, dates of loss, all that. Then you're going to go to sketch. Okay, and I'll get there quickly for you. I'm going to go to sketch. All right, and you're going to be creating these three rooms in sketch. All right, so you'll remember the process from the class with taking a room, placing it on the pallet, renaming it, resizing it, and uh, yeah, so you're going to be creating these rooms, and you'll see these items that go in them. Okay, so we'll have learned how to do this to create a room and to find line items in the first class. So that's all you're going to be do, doing in this scenario exercise uh, for the first class is interior rooms with the items that go in them. And that's for the kitchen, the bathroom, and the living room. Okay. Do not go on to the roof or the exterior elevations, uh, but do have completed uh, the setup of the project, the creation of all of the rooms, and finding all the line items that go in them. Okay. So that is a quick video review for you for the beginning of the scenario exercise. Now, if you are a more advanced ExactMate user and you're coming in uh, starting at one of the uh, later classes and you haven't completed the, or you haven't needed to complete the first class, this instructional video should show you what to do to get prepared for the second or the third class.